Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations Acclaim. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do an uh, animal everyone is familiar with. It's a bird called the heron. And uh, I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. What I liked about this bird, it was challenging and interesting because they've got the very long legs. And I'll show you how you're going to reinforce that all with wire so he'll be able to stand up. And I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an, there's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. And you use this all the time as a kid. You, you know, I can make things over and over again. Once I didn't like the things I wanted or I got bored of them, I just would roll them up and make new things. There's an air-hardening clay such as this, which never hardens. Uh, let's see, this air hardening clay, which hardens after a couple of hours or overnight. I correct myself. And what's great about this is you can paint it. And I want to show you the, my preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. But tonight we're going to be using another version of Sculpey 2. It's called also Sculpey 3. And what's great about this Sculpey 3 is it's colored. And it's just like the Super Sculpey. And it fires in the oven about 15 minutes at 275. But the colored Sculpey, I don't have to worry about painting it. So I'll show you the colors we're going to use. We're going to use, uh, this is called Jewelry Gold. That's what I use for the base on the bird. We're going to be using Silver for the legs. I like that color because it shows a lot of the detail. And then we're going to be using White for the body and the head. We're going to be using Yellow for the beak and the eyes. And then we're going to be using black Sculpey, Sculpey 3, for the eyes. I'll show you the first thing that we're going to do is we, I did get um, some wire. I cut it. We're going to be using this wire here, and I'm going to be putting clay over it. And this, is, this will enable the bird to stand when I fire it in the, uh, the oven. What we're going to do, and then I have a shorter one, and this is going to be used for the other leg. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. What I'm going to do right now is we're going to make the base for the bird or the heron. This is, this is the jewelry gold. So what I'm going to do is take these two pieces here and we're going to roll them into a ball very quickly. See like this? What I like about this, this clay, it's even softer than the regular Sculpey and it's very pliable right away. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little piece of this off also because what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of extra clay here to cover up the wire once I put it, put it in, the, um, in the base. We're going to take this, we're going to push this down onto the table like this. See how I'm doing that? Take my fingers, and do that, just like that. You know, make the nice base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of tin foil right here. And when, you know, you can get this in uh, any, uh, like a drugstore or a supermarket, and you crinkle it up into a ball. And then what I'm going to do is just take and make a nice base. I'm going to give it some texture, just like that. See how I'm doing that? And I'll show you. We've done this in the past. I love the way it creates the texture. See how that beautiful texture looks just like the bird was maybe standing on the shoreline or the beach. So we'll put that down. The next thing that I want to do is I want to get the, uh, start, I want to start making the actual bird. I'll show you what we're going to do. The piece that we're going to be making here, see the, the head here? We're going to be making the head and the neck and we're going to be making the body of the bird right here. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to put this back right here. I'm going to open this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, this is usually broken up into four different blocks. I'm going to take at least two of these. Roll it into a ball, just like that. Nice and quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
is that I'm going to start to put the clay on the wire you see right here. So what I'm going to do is take little pieces of clay off of here now and just like that. See, I'm, I'm putting on the wire just like that. See how I'm doing that? What I like about the wire is this wire is going to enable the heron to stand once we fire it. And uh, they have an excellent result. Let's see. I'm going to take this piece now and I'm going to wrap it. around like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to my other model. It looks like I have to take and push the clay up a little more. on this. See that? How are we doing that? I'm going to take I have some more white clay here. And I'm going to add, do the additive technique. I'm going to add clay. So I'm adding that to the Just like that. See how you start to see the bodies forming. You got the neck here, you got the body. I'm going to add a little more clay here. <coughs> Just like that. See how that? We're adding the clay. Just like that. Now what I want to do is I want to compare it to my previous model. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to compare. It's approximately the right size. See that? I'm just going to take this now and I'm going to kind of almost bring this to a little point. That's, that's the tail. like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of clay off here. I want to thin out this neck. Take a little bit of the clay off. See that? I'm trying to make the neck a little thinner. So you, got, you, you squeeze it from all sides just like that. See that? Oh, now what I want to do is I want to compare it back to my model again. They're approximately the same size, which is good. And I want to just get the actual shape. There, yeah, like that. Just like that. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to 
I should take, I'm just going to wipe, a, I have a tape paper towel here. Sometimes it's a good idea to wipe off the clay as much as you can because it, uh, I got the white clay on my hand right now and if I put it on the yellow, it'll show up on the yellow clay and I want to see if I can take as much off as I can. So now what I'm going to do is take a little piece of clay here. I'll show you the size. See that? We're going we're gonna to use that for the beak. So what I'm going to do is think of an ice cream cone. We can roll it like that. And now what I'm going to do is take there's a little piece of wire right here. I'm going to take and place this over the piece of wire here. Now, this beak that I'm making appears to be a little too big, so I'm going to remove some of the clay, and I'm going to work on it. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm just, you take squeeze from that side, you squeeze from that side. See how I'm making that into a nice point? And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this white clay and go underneath here where the beak is. We do that. And now, what I'd like to do, I want to see how tall this guy is. I want to see how these, the length, I want to get a rough idea of how, where I should make the bend on the wire. So it looks like I approximately should make it about there. So I took that wire, I bent it, and then I'm going to make it go like that. So now another thing that I want to do is I want to make the eyes right now. So what I'm going to do is take the toothpick just make the hole for the eye right here. See that? See how I did that? I'm going to take, put that in there. I'm just going to make the hole. Now I'm going to go over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to, I want to make sure I'm making it approximately the same location on the other side. Put that in like that. See that? And then you rotate like that. Just like that. And now what I want to do is I want to take another piece of, I'm going to take some small yellow clay and I'm going to put it into the eye sockets. So I'm going to take a little, just a very small piece. I'll show you, I'll show you the size in a minute. I'm going to put that right on the, when I put those on the, um, I'm going to put my fingers for size comparison. See those? I know they're tiny, but they have to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these now, and I'm going to put them right in inside where I made those. where I made the eye sockets. And then I'm going to take and do the same thing on the other side. See that? Now what I want to do is I want to make the black eyes. So I'm going to take, it's going to be small just like the yellow was. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little piece of black 
little piece of black. Now what I want to do is take, I'm going to make another little hole here inside the center of the yellow and just kind of go like that a little bit. And then I'm going to flip around and do the same thing the other side. And I'll show you. Now what we want to do is we want to place these little black pieces inside the eye. See how I just did that? Oops. Right there. And then we'll go to the other side. I'll flip it there. I'm going to put that and the other right there. See how I did that? And then what I also want to do is I want to take the beak and I want to make take a line like this to make the mouth. See how I did that? And we're going to proceed to do the same thing to the other side. See like that? Just like that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make some wings. So we're going to take a couple. I'm going to take a couple of balls of clay here. I'll show you which size we want. I'm going to make a round ball, and I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. Um, let me just make the round balls, and I'll show you the size. That one's a little... Okay. So these are, the, these are the size balls of clay we need. We're going to take... What I want you to do now is take this, flatten this out like this with your fingers, but then we're also going to make the shape of a wing. So see how I'm making the shape of a wing right now? So I'm going to take that and go like that. But you, so flatten it like that. But also, we want to make the shape of the wing like that. See, I'm taking my fingers and pinching it and making that shape. I want to continue to do that. Just like that. And now we're going to proceed to do the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to take this, like I said, flatten it out. But then we want to make that shape. So make that shape like that for that wing. Just like that. See how we're doing that? And what I want to do now is I want to make sure these are approximately the same size, which they are. And now, what I'm going to do is place these on the side of the bird. So we're going to take this one right here. See how I'm placing that on the side? I'll show you from up above. See how I'm doing that? And kind of just push in. Just like that. And now we're going to proceed to do the same thing to the other side. So I pick that piece up. We're going to take that and then press that in, just like that. See, I'm doing that. Just like that. So now, what I want to do now is I want to add some texture to the, the heron. So what we're going to do, I just want to make sure that beak is all right, is I'm going to take the toothpick and make small strokes like this. See this? Just like that. Just like that. When 
いでした。Just gonna go all around top of the head here. All around. We're gonna work this whole area. So what you want to do is just short strokes. See how I'm doing that? Very short strokes. Because we want to create the feathers. And you're gonna do this, you're gonna make this down here on the bird, you're gonna the heron, you're gonna do all the way down the back like this. You're gonna to proceed to do this all over. You're gonna do that there. You're going to do that on the underside, like that. And you're also going to do that on the wings. So I'm just taking and just short strokes, just like that. Now you're going to do that over the entire heron or the bird. So now the next step that we want to take is we want to make the legs. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of wire here. I'm going to insert this right here. Push that in. But I'm just going to leave enough so I can see the wire. I bent it at the bottom. I made a nice little bend in it. So now what I want to do is I want to cover the wire with the silver clay now. Let me wipe my hands because they got all the white clay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take little pieces of silver clay here. I'm going to take this break it into two pieces, and then what I'm going to do is roll it like this in between my fingers, like that. See that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and place this on the wire. Oop, don't worry, I, I dropped it, but that's fine. You want to place this on the wire like that. See I'm doing that? And then you want to wrap it around the wire. You want to wrap this around. So now what I want to do is I want to thin out the legs a little bit. So there might be a little excess clay here. I might end up taking that off. But just see how I'm squeezing that? Because they have very, very thin legs. So I want to make these as thin as possible. See that how I'm doing that? Taking squeezing that. Just like that. Don't worry if they're not perfect. It, that's all right. The now, now that we've got that one done, we'll do the, the next one. I'll wrap this around. And we'll... I just want to get a little bit more clay on the very bottom. See how we did that? Not bad, huh? See how I, I wrapped that around there? We all, what we also want to do 
is I also want to take some more clay. I'm going to take a little piece of clay and halfway up the leg, I'm going to make get tiny little balls. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And we're going to put that in the back of the leg. I'm just going to show you. I'll put these in front of my, my fingers so for a size comparison. See that? See if you can, you can see that they're right, right there. Those two little silver pieces, they're very, very small. Or what I can do also is I'll put them on my hand. It might be easier to see them that way. See how tiny they are? Now what we're going to do is attach those to the back of the legs right here. See that? And then we're going to put the other piece right next to it on the other leg. See how I did that? See that? And now we're ready to actually put the heron in the, into the base. I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take this, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to push like this into the base, like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the extra jewelry sand clay that I had, and I'm going to put that on top of the wire so you can't see it. So when it's a finish, it will make it look like the bird is actually standing on his own. Now what I want to do is I want to touch this up a little bit now. I want to take the tin foil. See how I'm going? So that the new clay that I put down there, we want to make that look just like the rest of the soil. And we're going to just, just touch it up like that. Just like that. And start Now, the last thing that we have to do is we have to make the feet. So I'm going to do this very simply. I'll show you. I'm just going to take and take make some. I want to take and make, let's see, little balls of clay like this. Just like this. Okay, this, that's for the first foot. And then we'll make them for the, the second foot. Just like this. Pretty cool, huh? Just this ball looks like it might be a little too big, so just add a take a little away. So I'm gonna take this this little ball of clay here, see how I have it in my fingers, and I'm gonna roll it. Into think of an ice cream cone. Roll it like that. And we're going to take that now, and I'm going to put that on the back of the foot right here. See that? And I placed it right there. And I'm going to proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take, make that ice cream cone type shape like this. Then I'm going to take and place that in the back of the foot. See how I place that right there? What you see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other, they have three toes in the front. They have like kind of like one in the back, the foot, and then three toes in the front. So we're going to make that ice cream cone shape. And I'm going to put that right there. Press down on it. I'm 
and then another ice cream cone shape. And I put that right next to that right there. And then I'm going to make the other ice cream cone shape there. Place that right there. And that's how you, you do one foot. Say so we've already got one foot complete. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So take these, think ice cream cone. I'm going to put this, place this right here. That might have been a little too big, that piece of clay, so I'm going to take a little off it. I'm going to take, place that right there like that. And we got two more to do, two more toes. I'm going to take that ice cream, upside down ice cream cone or the ice cream cone shape. And we're going to take and place that right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. This piece has a little too much clay, so I'll take a little off. And I'm going to take, take that piece of clay, and I'm going to place that right beside there. So as you can see, we have three toes in each foot. And then there's like one toe in the back. And I'll show you what the completed version of the heron should look like. When it's done, when you've made all the, the feathers and things, see how you get the nice mouth on the beak? You got the eyes. See how you get the nice yellow for the eyes, and then you put the black in? And now see how I made all the feathers? Made all the, used all the, the strokes with the uh, toothpick to make that. You can see on the legs. We have three toes in each foot. See that? Then we got the toe in the back. Try to rotate it so you can see it a little better. And the little bump on the back of the leg on each one. And that's what the final version of the heron will look like. And what you'll do is if you're using a Sculpey like I was, you'll bake that in the oven for 15 minutes at 275, and it will become hard, and you'll be all set for the dis display. I do want to thank you for coming to the show Creations in Clay tonight, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Thank you. Mm -hmm.